upon you what my father has promised but remain in the city jerusalem until you are clothed with power from her from on high at chapter one at chapter one verse eight at one verse eight He said, but you shall receive power, ability, efficiency, and might. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends, the very bounds of the earth. Hallelujah. Let's read the last 10.38. He said, how God anointed and consecrated jesus of nazareth with the holy spirit and with strength and ability and power who how he went about doing good and in particular curing all who were harassed and oppressed by the power of the devil for god was with him hallelujah you need power part three praise god Please take your seat in God's presence. Take your seat in God's presence. Tell somebody, say, you need power. Say, you need power. We've established a few things for the past two Sundays. We've established a few things for the past two Sundays. And um, I said something. I said, without power, you are irrelevant. Without power, you are irrelevant. So what makes you relevant is power. Praise the Lord what makes you relevant in the society is power when a man has wisdom and does not have corresponding power is tantamount to foolishness in inside wisdom praise the lord that means you you know what to do but you don't have the evidence of what you know that means you lack the power to become something and jesus said the bible says in the book of john chapter 1 verse 12 he said for as many that have received him to them he gave power to become that means until you are given a power you can become until power is given you cannot become whatever dream you have to become you need power to become it praise the lord this world is too busy to listen to powerless men <laughs> that means it, the bible saying where the king is there is power where the word of a king is there is Power. What makes the word of a king carries power is because of the crown. Without the crown, there is no kingship. In fact, they say they've anointed you a king and yet you don't have a crown. Then there, it is it's as if you are not a king. Am I communicating now? We are the word of a king is there is power. The Bible says Jesus, when he called the twelve to himself, that they might be with him, that he might send them forth. And when he was sending them, he gave them power against unclean spirit. He gave them powers against all devils. Praise the Lord. He gave them powers to cast out evil spirit. The seven sons of Sceva, they lack the power, and yet they want to do what a powerful man can do until you are empowered in certain dimensions do not try to claim you know anything in that area praise the lord it's like someone who is teaching people how to do something and yet the person does not have or the person has not become that thing there is one thing to know where you are going another thing is to have the power to become it and that power will come upon you today in the name of jesus when the holy ghost came to mary when the, the the angel of god i mean when he came to mary gabriel he said thou art highly favored he said thou shalt have a child and mary said how shall this thing be seeing that i know not a man and he said the power of the holy ghost the power from the highest shall overshadow thee and thou shalt conceive you cannot become a spectacular without power <laughs> praise the lord 
And I said in Luke 24, 49, he said, tarry in the city of Jerusalem. In other words, wait on the Lord until power comes on you. I said, God has not changed his strategy of how he releases power on his people. If you want the power, you go to him in the secret. Praise the Lord. I said, how do I get this power? Number one, we said, wait on the Lord. Luke 1, verse 14. He said, and Jesus returned in the power power of the holy ghost into the city of galilee and his fame went abroad he returned in the power of the holy ghost and his fame spread abroad it's not only in ministry you need power <laughs> in business in education in your career you need to carry power before you are recommended you need power you had a testimony of this morning so we are told as you travel for for the christmas don't just bother to return if i stay in your country because we are not going to employ foreigners anymore yet when she returns and stays at home they call her and say we are sorry come back that is power i'm talking about and the other one said they were retreating people in other words out of 28 days in the month that you go to work you only have to go to work 14 days for two weeks and yet they did not retrench you that is power for your for your testimony to be retained you need power am i communicating here yes, sir. and you can't get this power if you are a stranger to the presence of god you can't get the power when you are a stranger if god in human form still waited on god <laughs> to be empowered what about you that is a mortal man? Praise the Lord. Number two, I said, desire. Without desire, you lack the passion to pay the price. Without, it's a true desire. A man having separated himself, intermittent with all wisdom. Without desire, you lack the power, the sea, to pay the price. And number three, we said, knowledge. First, second Peter um, 1 verse 2 and 3. It's a true knowledge. It's a grace and peace be multiply unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. Grace and peace. I said to you, you cannot enjoy grace. You cannot enjoy peace until knowledge is imparted. It said to Joshua, it's Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of the law, this book of the law shall not depart. In other words, everything I have put in Moses is in the law. So if you want to enjoy what Moses enjoyed as a, as a man who walked with God, study the law. Praise the Lord. You know, when you buy um, when you buy a product and you don't have the time to go through the manual, you will be operating it on guesswork. Am I communicating now? Even when you buy medications, you have to study the instructions so that you will not kill yourself. <laughs> Praise God. Why? Because until you know, you don't know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What you know, you senior. What you don't know, senior you. The day you find out the secret behind your problem, you have gotten solution the reason many people are still in bondage because they've not found the secret to their problem i said three kinds of power that governs the affairs of men in this world number one we look at it last week spiritual power spiritual power this world is ruled by spiritual beings <laughs> praise the lord the world is ruled and governed by spiritual being. To think that uh, I, I, I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. Why would people look for my trouble? <laughs> Job was not looking for Satan's trouble. It was God that called Satan. And said, let me give you a walk. What are you doing? He said, I am jobless. I'm just moving up and down. To and fro. It's okay, let me engage you. Job said, I was quiet. <laughs> I was at peace. 
I was not messing around, but yet trouble came. I was quiet. I was calm. I was at peace. Yet trouble came. The Bible says in Psalm 91, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There are arrows that flies by day. Even as we are talking now, there are arrows still flying. There are demons in people that just attack people unknown to their vessel. <laughs> Am I communicating now? Unknown to their vessel, to the carrier of the demon. Not knowing that there are powers in, in him or her that is attacking others. Until you carry power, you just be a victim of circumstances. Not all affliction takes life, but when you don't have power, when affliction comes, you are gone. You need spiritual power, the power of God, that's what I'm talking about, to stay afloat in every affairs of life. They said to Daniel, they said, don't, nobody should pray for 30 days. And Daniel knew, if I don't pray, my power is gone. If I cannot pray for 30 days, not 3 days, 30 days. Because they tried everything, they could not find a way to name Daniel. They said the only way we will find a fault in him is in the law of his God. So there are satanic strategies that comes to you as believers that takes you away from God's presence so that they can find the loopholes. And the Bible said when Daniel knew that the law was signed, the, 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 the decree was signed into law, he said Daniel went to his house, opened the window towards Jerusalem, as his custom was as he used to pray three times a day he knelt down and prayed to the god that answers prayer and they told the king they said ah, the man you love has broken your law what did they do they come they manipulated the king to sign with his signet they say with the law of medes and persias that does not alter us you know that word is not amendable once you break the law, you must enter the lion's den. And Daniel said, no problem. <laughs> we will break the law and change the law. Am I complicating now? See, until you carry spiritual power, you can't break spiritual laws. When I mean breaking spiritual laws, I'm talking of breaking satanic laws. And... <laughs> They threw Daniel into the lion's den. The king, the Bible said, the king labored all night. The king, Daniel was relaxed, but the man, he labored on behalf of Daniel all night. Why? Because Daniel carried something that attracts something. He labored, the, the man labored all through the night, trying to see loopholes in the law. So that they can change it. They say, King, don't, don't worry. Don't stress yourself. Relax. You can't change this law. And he said one word to Daniel. He said, may the God you call on continually, may he save you. See, there are situations you get to. People will say, may your God save you. <laughs> there, there are conditions you find yourself. You have to call on your God, not the God of your father. <laughs> Where is the Lord God that I serve? He's your father. You cannot call my father's name in the place of your father. He will not answer. Am I communicating now? He said, Daniel, may the God that you call upon continually may he rescue you. And Daniel said to the king, don't worry, relax. But while Daniel was entering there, the lion of the tribe of judah went ahead the king of all lions and spoke in the language that lions understand he said seed time and harvest time cannot cease he said lions there is a higher lion coming don't even try to harass the lion because he's carrying the higher power after you sacrifice daniel i will give you the families of those that rose against daniel and the bible says in the morning and 
the king rose early he could not sleep why because there was a power upon daniel and the king ran to the to the den and said oh daniel servant of the most high god as the god that you call on continually rescue you out of the lion's hand and daniel replied oh king live forever in as much as god has not found any fault in me he has gone ahead of me and shot the mat of lions that they will not eat me and the king commanded daniel to come out and the families of those plus the innocent wife and innocent children and the bible said they threw them into the lion's den why because there was a spiritual power at work in the life of daniel the bible said before they reached the bottom of the of the den they were scattered into pieces can i prophesy as you carry the power of god anyone that rushes against you from today they will be summarized i said they will be summarized i said they will be summarized anyone that rises against you from today god will summarize them god will summarize them the power you need to stay afloat receive that power 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 you need spiritual power to carry your testimony in in hebrews 11 verse 11 he said and sarah received power to conceive i prophesy receive power to carry your job receive power to get married receive power to produce children receive power receive power receive power somebody have fire I am a tata. He said, touch not my anointed. It's a function of power. You don't, you are not in his presence and you are quoting that scripture. The slap demon will give you. He said, oh you demon, wherever you are coming from, I am anointed. The Lord said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet know him? The demon will ask you. Jesus, I know. Your pastor, I know. Where are you coming from? It is your tearing in his presence that gives you spiritual identity. You can write it down. It is your tearing in his presence that gives you spiritual identity. And power gives identity. Hello? Either you are known for positive influence or negative influence. All is all is empowered by powers. <laughs> I don't know if you get me. Whether you are known for good or for bad, there is a power using you. <laughs> you say, this guy is a wicked man. Why is he wicked? He has power. This man is a good man. Why is he good? He has power. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, with efficiency, with ability, who went about doing good, especially curing the sick. Praise the Lord. The second power. We started from there today. <laughs> the second power is financial power. <laughs> financial power. Deuteronomy 8.18 He said, Thou shalt earnestly remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to get wealth. Bring for me Ecclesiastes 5 verse 19 to 20. <laughs> Ecclesiastics. Ko shaka bali bahate. Kari and that say, Lord, I need power. I need financial power. <laughs> Praise God. Ecclesiastics 5, 19 to 20. I said, this is the second power that ruling that is ruling the world. Finance. Money is a God. Hello? Money. The only thing God equates himself with is money. Do you know people can serve money? In fact, people are serving money more than they are serving God. Let somebody just give some people money now, they will lay down their guard. 
People can use money to buy people's conscience. Am I complicated now? He said, every man also to whom God had given riches and wealth and had given him power. Please bring the scripture back. Oh, mashakabaya. Okay, let me use my Ecclesiastics. Okay. He said, every man also to whom God had given riches and wealth and had given him power to eat thereof. And, take, and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. <laughs> verse 20. Behold, that which I have seen. Verse 20, please. Verse 20. Verse 20, please. Yeah. For he shall not much remember the days of his life because God answered him in the joy of his heart. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse 1. Chapter 6, verse 1. Oh Jesus, can't take up He said, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common. Verse 2. Verse 2. Please be fast. A man to whom God had given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul of all that he desired, yet God gave him not power. Or eat <laughs> to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it, it is an evil disease. I feel something nice. I read this thing. He said, There is a gift of God that you are blessed with financial blessing, and yet you have given the gift to enjoy it. Not all rich men enjoy their wealth. He said, There is another evil that I have seen under the sun. It is common among men. Ecclesiastes said, It is an evil disease. That means, whatever caught a man short at the prime of his enjoyment is an evil disease. What is the gift of God? The power to eat the fruit of your labor. Can I professor? With my eyes closed and my eyes open. But you watching me live here and online. I professor. Another man will not eat the fruit of your labor. Hey, 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 hey. Let me speak to every wife hearing me now. You have labored for your husband. Another woman will not take your place. I prophesy to every man here. You have labored upon your wife. Another man will not take your place. I speak to every young boy, young girl, every male and female, every father and mother. Another woman, another man will not take your place. Whatever has been fired to cut you short, I cut them short. I cut them short. I cut them short. Every arrow for timely death. Whatever say, suffer, suffer, suffer. No problem. The day you will stumble into wealth and they say, May death knock at your door. I reverse that utterance. I reverse that utterance. I reverse First and all trust. I, I hear this in my spirit. He said, I should tell somebody, you will not die before your enjoyment. You will not die before you start enjoying. In the name of Jesus. Evil disease. There is one God has answered. God answered both of them. It was God that gave both of them wealth. But one lacks the power to eat. One lacks the power to eat. Can you say this after me? Say in the name of Jesus. I receive power. I receive power to eat the fruit of my labor. I receive power to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Say I receive power. To enjoy my labor, Sapphire. I am a mama tata. 
Take your seat. The major reason we need financial power is so that we can spread the gospel. A lot of people are leaving Christ today. They are leaving church to secular world because there is no financial power in the church. We need financial power in the church. The kind of church Jesus wants requires money. No matter the revelation you have, without power, the relevant people may not hear you. Without financial power. You carry ideas. You need power to give back to them. Financial power. That's why in every company, there are people who are, who are mentally wealthy. Hello? But they don't have every other thing apart from that brain. The company will hire them and put them in a specific department. They'll just, just think on our behalf. <laughs> think out. We will perform what you are thinking. I don't know if you are getting me now. Yes, They're called the Bring Bank. In every succeeding company, there are Bring Bank. Those that think, they call them Think Tank strategic thinkers they can sit down and be looking at one place trying to bring out what is not there that is there and you just see somebody succeeding you're asking yourself what is the secret there are people behind yes, sir. and if you don't have financial power you can attract such people hello if you don't have financial power, the reason the church needs financial power so that the church can close down satanic channels. You heard that? Oh, there is. Do you know even cartoons now for children? They've introduced iniquity into it. Oh, you think that your child are watching cartoon? No, no, that your child they are watching porn as a cartoon. Animated pornography. What is the word turning into? Because the church is lacking financial power. You can go to the channel and buy it over. Close it. In fact, close it. Ah, ah, ah. One of the great, one of the greatest musicians that has ever lived is dead now. I won't call his name. Say the sister acted porn. You know what he did? He bought it over bought everything and burnt it imagine if he was struggling there are certain levels the church cannot penetrate without financial powers the bible god is not against you having money god is against money having you many of us are not many of us are serving money money is not serving us there is how your money can serve you money is a servant but is money is a good servant a bad master money is a very loyal servant but a wicked master in other words if money is the one leading you you are finished that is what we call money misroad. <laughs> he said in the book of Psalm, Psalm 35, 27, gather my saints together, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. He said, for God rejoice in the prosperity God take pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. God is happy when you are blessed. God is happy. Do you know when they wanted to build the ark of God, money did not fall from heaven. God said to Moses, he said, speak to my people. I have given them all that is required for my house. There are people that has by just skin. There are people that has gold, that has diamond, that has collect whatever they have 
and they brought more than enough the bible says and they they, they told moses they said the people have brought more we have more than enough and moses gave another command i said nobody should bring offering again the church is over blessed imagine how it will look like you come to church and a pastor will tell you don't bother about giving offering in fact even tight if you like pay if you like don't pay the church is blessed already do you know on that in that realm that's when people are hungry to give them all to him that has more shall be added to him that does not the little he has shall be taken from him the more a church is blessed the more blessings the church receive <laughs> financial power i said the church will remain small in the scope of winning souls without financial power you have gone out to win souls and yet the soul you want is he or she is jobless he or she is houseless he or she is, is down and you don't have the means to sustain them in the faith they will go back to the world they'll go back to the world we need financial power hey say lord give me power to get this world just try me say lord just try me try me for once say lord try me and see what i will use the money to do in your house you know the, the reason why the church is lacking we have more consumers than sacrificial givers we have consumers people who eat their tight and sit on it and you are praying for financial power this message is not for you i'm talking to those who are tithing those who are faithful in sacrifice holy <laughs> kosokopayata we need financial power to propagate the gospel do you know the people that suffer most are the missionaries missionaries those on the seed they suffer a lot carry too much but yet because they lack financial power there are many missionaries that their children cannot feed well they can't even go to school yet they are liberating souls from the kingdom of darkness you are waiting for god to bring money from heaven to them no god will use you to to finance their pocket that's the that's the challenge with the church we just think oh god has called you let god pay you yes god is our paymaster but god does not give us raw cash from heaven you are poor you came and the pastor prayed now you are enjoying wealth is the tone apostle paul said i haven't blessed you spiritually it is necessary that we eat your carnal things yes, we are blessing each other yes, sir. if i bless you spiritually and god blesses you you should bring back some things am i communicating now yes, sir. you say pastor is god's property yes we know do you know a pastor can be dying of hunger God will not do anything. Hello? God will not do anything. The days where God brings food to Elijah is over. You say, I'm not preaching it because I want your money. Oh. Hello? I'm just preaching general. So do not say, Pastor is trying to tell us we should bring money. No, don't worry. Am I communicating now? don't worry i'm trying to tell you the secret to enjoy this power say lord give me power, give me power. to get wealth do you know in matthew 17 24 to 27 they asked peter does your master pay temple tax does your master pay temple tax and peter said let me go and ask him why peter was coming jesus forbade him from speaking and jesus said who do these the men of this world collect us from from their people 
or from strangers peter said from strangers he said then the children are free he said yes he said lest we offend them and make them to be biased in their judgment he said take your hook go to the river catch the first fish how did god settle the embarrassment that was about coming to them through his profession peter you are a fisherman take your hook go to the sea God will bless you financially through your handwork. God said, I will bless the labor of your hand. He that will not work should not eat. That is what Bible says. You are not working. You are sitting down praying 24-7. You will be a prayerful warrior but a powerful poor man. You will carry spiritual power, but you will lack financial power. When you talk in tongues, demon trembles. But when it comes to finances, you tremble. <laughs> Remember, say the love of money is the root of all evil. The lack of money, strandedness is the beginning of shame. When a man is stranded, even the smallest of human being will insult him. There are people, the, the way God make them, they are not they are not made to serve others. They were made to be a boss to others. But when a boss becomes a servant, you will suffer. Can I pray for you? But when I was preparing this message, I was going through it and meditating on it. One word the Spirit of God dropped in my spirit was that this meeting there shall be a release of financial power there shall be a release of financial power there shall be a release of financial power in the name of jesus without financial power whatever you have will not be received ecclesiastics 9 verse 15 and 16 he said there was a war against a small city and in that city there was a rich uh, there was a wise poor man who saved the city by his wisdom he said but his word was not heard bring it up for me let's read it so that you don't think i'm fabricating something ecclesiastics chapter five chapter nine sorry he said but there was found in in it a poor wise man and he by his he by his wisdom delivered the city yet no man seriously remembered that poor man but i say that wisdom is better than might though the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heeded wisdom is better than might but to be poor and wise is more terrible it's better to be foolish and, and rich <laughs> Than to be poor and wise hello take the the word i just said now as a contest mm? take it <laughs> so that you will not say let me forgo knowledge and go for riches <laughs> praise the lord because if you don't have knowledge and you have riches your riches will still destroy you So it is better to have wisdom and wealth. In fact, you can't be wise and be poor. Something is wrong with your wisdom. Praise the Lord. God, see, financial power does not have respect for fasting and prayer. You are trusting God for a chain of financial status. You are fasting and praying. You will fast in Jesus' come. You won't get anything prosperity has no respect for fasting and prayer prosperity has respect for covenant principles until we play our part god is not committed to playing his own role a man of god said something he said at the time he was studying and praying and the lord said to him you want prosperity it's not by fasting and prayer play your role i'll play my own God is not committed in playing his part until you are committed in your part. 
and know one thing that God will never ask what he has not given to you God will never request from your hand what he has not given to you before God requested for Isaac he gave Isaac the Bible says he gave a seed to the sower bread to the heater when he gives you seed and you sow it the multiplication of the seed is what gives you bread hello so god does not give both seed and bread no he gives seed to the sower when you sow the seed and the seed multiplies he gives you back bread so many people are eating their seed and they are poor praise the lord say Lord I need wisdom and power to get wealth in 3 John 2 verse 1 3 areas God wish every believer to be wealthy 3 areas he said I wish above all things that thou may have prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth number one God wishes you physical prosperity raw cash you know anytime you don't have money you are sad hello when you don't have money there is something in you that is not happy <laughs> that's why rich men don't eat too much it's poor men that eat a lot because he does not know where the next meal will come so when they have the today's one available they must finish it when some people load their bow you will ask yourself are you are, this one can cause hypertension by me looking at it you just see the mountain like a material forest. they want to break world record and some people they have flat tummy anything that enters does not show God save you if you carry someone that is a consumer to a rest to a restaurant you say just eat till you are full just make sure your pocket is full <laughs> rich men what makes them not to eat too much because they remember the millions in their accounts they they are satisfied they just forget that they've not eaten they can take one slice of bread and a cup of tea they are done praise the lord but a poor man wake up in the morning the bowl of pap with drumstick by the time they eat they are in the one place they are yawning <sighs> then you go back home you say foundation is doing it's not foundation no. it's not fun not everything is foundation <laughs> praise god <laughs> the second is God wishes us health and mental prosperity. Health and mental prosperity. You need to be prosperous in your mind. Prosperity begins in the mind. And the third, God wishes us spiritual prosperity. Even as your soul prospers. Spiritual prosperity. Praise the Lord. Do you know if you study Genesis 41, 33 to 36, 47 to 49, and 53? The Lord revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do, what will happen in the land of Egypt. Hmm. You know why? I just got something now. You know why God revealed it to Pharaoh, sir? Because a word has already came to Abraham that your seed will be a slave in a strange land in Egypt. And the only way Israel can go to Egypt is through famine. So it's not because Pharaoh was too good that God had to reveal to Pharaoh. No. God had a plan. In fact, God also moved the brethren of Joseph to sell him into Egypt. Fulfilling prophecy. 
and when he was in Egypt, God entered Potiphar's wife to tempt him. And God made sure it does not fall. Or he didn't fall to it. And God made sure that Joseph goes to the prison. Which kind of prison? The king's prison. The prison for royal guards. And God waited for two years. And gave Pharaoh a dream. Because that two years was for Joseph to know how to interpret dreams. You are going through different, different, different things now. God is preparing you. In what you are going through, learn how to interpret your dreams. Until you know how to interpret your dream, you can't interpret the dreams of your helpers. And God brought Joseph before Pharaoh. And he said, this is the dream I had. And Joseph interpreted it and said, seven years of abundance, seven years of scarcity. That is where many of us are missing it. Let me ask some of us now, here or watching us online, if God gives you your first million, either in rands or in dollars, what will you do? You see some people buying cars. Brand new. Say, I've been dreaming of a brand new car. You now use half of that money to buy a car. No investment. Praise God. Do you know any car you buy, maybe you buy the car 500,000, when you are about to sell it, it will, it will drop. But if you invest that money in a few while, the interest from your investment can buy you whatever you want. Many of us have been eating our investment money and we keep praying for more. God never blesses his people twice. He blesses you once. What you do with that blessing determines what you enjoy in your lifetime. When you eat your, your investment, you are finished. Without investment, there is no investment. Do you understand my English? Without investment, there is no investment. <laughs> he said to Pharaoh, the seven years of prosperity, gather the money. Gather the, the, the proceeds, the leftovers. Let us save. You must learn savings. You must learn savings. You must learn how to save. If you want to enjoy prosperity, be in fact, develop the culture of saving. Not every property you want to have, you have to build from beginning. You have to do everything from the start. Like I told us, somebody can just be broke now looking for money and mortgage a house you have been dreaming of having. And you have the means, you just buy it free of charge. That's how God blesses his people. He say, your seven years of abundance prepare for seven years of famine many have wasted their abundance and now they are in famine crying for second chance god has given you a seed don't eat it so it seed as for sowing not for eating every believer is a farmer and not all seeds not all um yeah will i say seed now are for sowing or not all fruits are resoluble. <laughs> Hello? There are some fruits that are consumable. They are not soluble. And there are seeds that are soluble, not consumable. I remember when I was farming with my grandfather. After the yam harvest, the man will select in his wisdom the best for the next season. And if you look at them, they are very tempting to eat. If you mistakenly roast one, if it's like you roasted your one year. The man was teaching us principles of life I never understood. He said, you don't eat this one. This one's a seed. There are some that they are very big. You say, this one is too big. How can you just plant this big seed? I tell you, you don't understand I am planting this big seed because I want a big fruit. 
do you know when you use and there are seed that are dead they don't have life in them <laughs> those ones you eat them the ones that have life is the one you sow if you want harvest but many believers ate the one with life and sow the one that are dead now they blame the pastor that received the seed he said i sow to that man of god and not here happen what kind of seed did you sow some man sowing cars that the car would not leave the church compound am i complicating now yes, some so car in fact some people will drop phone and remove the battery they say it's nokia battery very strong so who will buy battery for the phone some people are not we move them i remember one day hey the anointing of god was heavy there was massive in church and somebody was moved and pull his shoe and drop it and the man of god shouted take it back god does not need your shoe who will wear it <laughs> that is not a seed <laughs> that's emotion <laughs> am i communicating now you see people who just put their suit then if you open the amp it is tall everything is finished you drop it on the altar who will take it i'm teaching you to understand the kind of seed that you plant for more harvest praise the lord and obviously if you want financial power financial increase you must learn planning plan your finances some of us we eat everything waiting for more praise the lord plan your finances tell somebody say plan your finances Say, plan your finances. Quickly, the last one, they will pray. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Shatata. Say, Lord, give me financial power. Number three, kind of power. <clears throat> I call it the physical power. Under the physical power, you have political and career power political and career power first corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 please bring it up for me first corinthians 12 28 oh jesus ko shaki balada first corinthians 12 28 he said and god has set some in the church where where the church first apostles second really prophets thirdly teachers after that miracles then gift of healings helps government in the church not outside the church hello diversities of tongues if you read other faction where the government is is called administrator it's called a leader god planted them after god is government hello that's why when the president will come up and say no church should gather even the most anointed man of god will obey hello <laughs> the most anointed man i remember one time um a man of god was saying something he was talking to a president and he said they were like arguing between a president and between a, 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 a politician that's the one in power now and a pastor who has more power more authority and the pastor said pastors are more powerful than president and he said no president are more powerful than a pastor and he asked the president said if somebody has a headache now can you pray for the person he said obviously i can't he said then i'm more powerful than you he said i agree he said, somebody dies now. Can you pray for them to come back to life? He said, obviously, I cannot. He said, but I can do that. God will raise them back. He said, I agree. And the president said, if I pass a law that no church will gather, can you gather? He said, no. He said, I'm more powerful than you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said, I'm more powerful than you. If I can give one order and fear will not let you break it, then respect my position there are certain areas church cannot penetrate without politics or without political power am i communicating now yes, sir. without political powers i'm not talking of politicians yes, sir. <laughs> praise god we, see, we the church need to deliberately raise spiritual believers 
who are loaded with both the power of God and financial power to take the hem of affair. Proverbs 29 verse 2 said, if the righteous rule, the people rejoice. If a wicked man is in authority, even the righteous will mourn. Praise the Lord. Without spiritual power, financial power, no matter your your political um, acumen, let me put it like that, no matter the wisdom you have about politics, you may not rule. Hello? Even if you do not have the financial power, you must have those who have the money to sponsor you. The reason we have not had believers in the hem of affair, it like number one in every nation, is because the church are not ready to finance their own to the top. Rather, the church flourishes around the flocks around those who are not God fearing. Praise the Lord. We need Daniels. We need Josephs in the hem of affair. Joseph was the first political leader in Egypt, in Egypt, prime minister. And he was given one wife. He did not take another one. He did not take another wife. We need it all. Career power. There are certain contacts you may never have access to until in your career, until you have financial power to assess certain people. There are things you know, you just until you get to that place where you're, you, you are loaded with finance, you are loaded with the power of God. That, that's what opens a door for you to assess the real people your career needs to, blow, to, to break through. When you see people that you sing more than, for instance, those who are into gospel artists or secular musicians, not all secular musicians have gone far and wide. Hello? Some have met helpers of destiny because in helping you, they are also helping themselves. Am I complicating now? You want to stay in power as a politician or as a career person, you want to be successful. You need the power of God. Praise the Lord. You need the power of God. The reason you hardly find true and strong believers in, the, in politics today is because their foundation as a Christian were not granted. Politics is, whew, is a thing to, to, to be spoken about in another day. Am I complicating now? say lord say lord i need your power i need your power say i need your power mo shatatata kitoko barada every politician everyone that will succeed in careers need a spiritual backup you know why you need, if you are a politician as a Christian, why you need the spiritual backup of Jehovah? Not San Goma now. It's because there are power brokers in your team that want to sell the nation and put the money in their pocket. They can influence your judgment. Am I communicating now? Yes, and when you stand for God, people will not like you. Am I communicating now? People will not like you. In fact, when you stand for God, it will shock you. Even the church people will not like you. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. The church people. We always like to fight our own. It's too rigid. It's too rigid. It's too rigid. When the previous president before the current one now in Nigeria... When he was leading, people were eating, people were enjoying. In fact, Christianity was booming. Everything was okay 
People were looting money, but yet life was good. They now say he's too quiet. He's not talking. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. They now put, they say, let's bring somebody that knows how to. And when the person entered, poverty entered. And they started shouting, Oh! Ah, we miss. We miss. Why? We always like to fight our own. In America, the president that just left, undo many things that was against the faith. Undo many things that was against the faith. People never loved him. That is the reason you need power. <laughs> you need power to stay in the office. Because the, the pressure that will come to you. People who are ruling, they didn't plan to steal money. They didn't plan to be bad. No, there are people around them. Their mouths are open like sepulchre. They want to swallow. So if you don't want to give them to eat, they rather set you up since you don't want to eat we will make sure you leave the road so that we can eat that has been the problem the reason believers are running from politics is because they don't have the equipment they have not been so equipped to the level where they can stand the pressure we must be deliberate to raise godly believers that fear God to, to, to sit in, in, in the places of authority Praise the Lord. And your career testimony is not complete as a believer. If at the end of your introduction, nothing like he's a Christian. If after your introduction, they should say, above all, in all his wealth, he, he does not play with God. He is a Christian. That is the testimony that crowns your success. And I pray for you that the power to stay afloat will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Rise on your feet. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Mo shali bahata, kod la basan thala braga dashata, kata kato la brada ushi thayada dash, ma kata ta 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 ta. Just go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Mori kapala radosha. Yanta ta 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 ta. Barreke teke lege de ge 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 de. Ma shoto brege de ge de balaga de ge de ge de balaga de ge de sho. Rati lege de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge de ge de. Ba ta ta ka ta balaga de ge de ge de ge de. Rati lege de ge de ge de ge de. Ba sha ta 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 ka ta ge de 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 I receive financial power. I receive power to get wealth. I receive power to get wealth. Bless the work of my hand. Release prosperity to the labor of my hands. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Lord, release prosperity in the labor of my hands. Bless the work of my hands, Lord. Release financial power upon my life. Release financial power upon my life. In the name of Jesus, you're going to pray, Lord, I receive political and career power. See, you may not be a politician, but you can have them as friends. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Do you know when Daniel got promotion, Daniel did not sit in the position. He put his friends and he went to sit at the gate. That means without Daniel, Meshach, Shedrach, and Abednego would not have smelled power. The Bible said they were put in as head of provinces. Daniel recommended them. He said, okay. Um, the king said, I will, uh, Nebuchadnezzar said, I will give you half of the kingdom. In fact, any position you want, he said, don't worry. I will sit at your gate. Put Shadrach in so, so, and so. Put this one. They became a governor in different cities. Why? Through their friend. 
There are things you don't need to fast and pray for if you have a politician as a friend. If you have a successful businessman as a friend, there are things you don't pray for. It's just one call, one test message. Am I communicating? Just one call, one test message. Say this, 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 this. this. Say, don't worry, relax. When you see people flying, there are people helping them to fly. Father, I, I pray. I receive political and career power. The grace to attract men who are succeeding in their feed. I receive that grace right now. I receive that power right now. Open your mind and begin to pray. Lord, I receive the grace, the power to attract political and career power. Shut the grace to attract political and career power. Men who are succeeding in their feed. I receive grace to attract them. Jesus Kilebosha Mankatatata Two things God is going to do this morning Two things God is going to do this morning is the release of financial power and career power. Get your anointing oil. It's anointing service. Mo shatata. Ma katata. These two things are going to anoint our.